are in Port Elizabeth. Uh, we are running a salon business and we have this girl who used to come and help us and she was HIV positive with a small girl. So we later on found out that she, uh, there's the young daughter was infected and uh, later on she had a second born and she eventually passed away. Then uh, the kids, they were left with their aunt and their aunt didn't see them as her priority. Mm -hmm. So the big one was actually the mother to the young one. Oh, she used to bath the, the, the young one before she goes to school, bath her and then take her to school, just help her to cross the road and then she'll come running back to go to, to her school because their schools are not in the same direction. Then when she, the, the young one comes from school, uh, because she comes very early, she's still doing great R, so she'll just cross the road on her own, which was not uh, safe according to her. And we came in when we realized that uh, she was supposed to take the ARVs and then the aunt didn't really take care of the ARVs. And we noticed that she was not very well and then we asked if she's, not, she's taking her medication and she told us no and we asked the aunt. The aunt said she is taking care of her and then we took the medical report uh, and then we took her to the clinic and then we really found out that she's not taking the medication. It's been months. Then we reported the case. After that, the kids, they were taken to our care. Now they are with us. We are taking care of them, both uh, the 11-year-old and the 4-year-old. They are going to school, taking their, uh, the big one who is infected is taking her medication correctly now. The big one, she used to clean the house after school, cook if, if, if there's no food for the whole uh, household. And then now, she's not doing any cooking, no washing. Uh, we are the ones doing the washing for them. In the, in the morning, we bath the small one and she bath herself. Uh, everything now is in our care. She's no longer the parent, she's now a child. She even says that she's now enjoying playing. So mm -hmm. she now feels like a child again. Uh, is, she's taking regimen A, uh, 1A. And then she's taking two in the morning, and then three in the evening, which is the total of five per day. Uh, she'll have to take them for the rest of her life. And we have to take good care of her diet. She has to eat veg mostly. Her veg must be in her food every day.